see is a gap tool, spark plug tool anyways. So it's right here and there's some fewer gauges of that. Right here I buy in this I buy a couple years ago, a long time ago. This is last year. Last year probably. This one a couple years ago. These are made by KD tools. I've seen those on the internet a lot. This is my ground post. This one's handy for cleaning carburetors. I've never used it before, but there's a knife in there. A lot of odd bits and tools in there I use. This is all the tools I use. Flywheel puller. This one's good for the motor bolt because you don't want to ruin the shaft on it or something like that. Bolt nut on it or crack it anyways. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Protects the, you know, I'm trying to figure what it is. I know it was a Johnson Everywood anyways tool. Flywheel puller. So it's easy to use. I am on that Johnson right there. The one I'm working on. I broke the spark plug in half. And I got another one on there. Luckily I find one. There's all the spark plugs in there. Right here. All the spark plugs. Something just spill. Hmm. So the, something spill. The other one was in there. I'm knocking it down. I have used this before right here with a to see the spark tester. Anyways, it was like easy. But some of the motor bolts uh, use a different. So the older ones right here. This one don't have that because it's it's twists and a little different that one works on that one those work those right there how those are different spark plug anyways on it they take it off you could test it with that two with the spark tester as a different plug different plug that must be a j j a j c a this must be a different spark plug this is a, a motor i got a couple years ago this is a this one runs. I built those carburetor on those things before. They're easier built. I got some of the parts. <clears throat> diaphragm for those carburetors. I'm doing the diaphragm for those carburetors. And I'm doing the flow. Parts I used to move parts right here the lawn boys we would have a bunch of this is a um, engine that blew up one time in the lawn boys and that one I, I got a new handle for that one the gas mercury gas tank this is some of the tools they have in here that don't work anymore bust the diaphragm I got cleaned stuff for many years anyways trying to start it anyways so it's trying to Fix vacuum cleaners, anything I can get my hands on now. I really want interest to do something like in my lifetime. Oh God, I don't know what's going on. This world's getting nuts. I mean, I try to fix something. So I, I'm thinking about the future anyways, and just, I can't bear down anymore. I just, just want to get something going. It's just striving up the wall. So, one of those things, days I just, I have a pretty good day, but this is all the stuff I have in the garage anyways. A little hot, 80 degrees, 81, something like that around there. Humid. Come on, phone's calling. GB. Sorry about that. God, it's just ridiculous. All the time they call, all the time I get something on the film, then the stupid coon calls comes in. And... God. Sorry about that. I'm just. <laughs> I don't like that. It's just. God, it pissed me off. Sorry about that anyways. There's a phone call coming in. I was a little mad anyways. This is uh, the compression tester I got a couple of months ago. The other one busted anyways, the diaphragm. This is the one that goes for diesel gasoline anyways. This is different size, different size. You put it on here, right here. Different size for the motor bolts and cars probably and trucks and outboards, lawnmowers. And over here, I got a different one. Uh, I got some of the tools in here. And 
some of the tools I use. This is a compression tester right there for the valves. And some of them right here, the compression tester. And the vacuum tester you use. And this is a punch for the easy pull gaskets anyways. I wouldn't that in there. I used to have smaller ones. One right here. And I have like a compound tools for the valves. I never used that much. We used it on a, a bowling, a bowling tracker. It was a Briggs engine. It was a 111 horse, and I blew the engine on it. I adjust the governor on it, and it that's a carburetor for the Lomboy. And the diaphragm right here is busted, and, and I got a new one. I know I can't fix it. Box anyways. All the tools I got in there, and part two is all the tools I have in here. Mostly I have different spark plug tools and stuff I use. I have different tools I use. Not daily, but I use some of them before on my truck and stuff. But I don't never use on the Volvo right there. But my car starts really easy right now. See how easy it starts. I put a new battery in it. Somebody put a new battery in it. It starts pretty good. So I got a new battery for it. I got new mats in it. It starts really quick. RPM gauge. It's a quiet engine. My mom don't hear that. <laughs> Thing. Ah, this thing's right there. Man, I lost the microphone. I use a wireless microphone to talk. Hope this works. Hope you can hear. Uh, not everyone, but I have to empty that water. So I'll show it. It's a um, probably a four horsepower. It's in the shed, but I wish I could run that. You know, off. Uh, this is the um. A four horse I got from some neighbor, and that is a two horsepower. Those two two horsepower one, and this is a part of the two point five Johnson. Trying to get it's right over there. That green one. This is a blue one. This is a. They're a little different from those Johnson. That is a John. That is a John. That every one and that's a Johnson. I have their other room down there. I might sell that one. I gotta make some money. I might sell that. I might keep that. Air. I don't know yet. We get any air compressor I have anyways, but. This is crawling tool. My dad still built a shit, but he built that shit down there. These were all fry ball, okay, 1992. Well, I wonder how old my dad was. Born 1926, 1992. So it could be around 1992, something like that, or something like that. I don't know when. when. This is a shed down there he built. You build that right there. My dad done this whole house. This whole house was built by my dad a little bit. Looking at uh, on eBay for the vacuum back and clear. I think I might get another Kirby sometime. I got some of the directions on them anyways. I'm off of the Kirby site, but restoring one buffing anyways, trying to get it going, trying to fix it. I have, I have no curvies up there right now. I have some in the basement anyways. I have a classic three. I have one I uh, have this one video all at one time on the red Kirby and stuff and it's pretty good. I think that over 40 years ago they built better stuff anyways. But today they just are junk. But you have to get a good one. You have to look at one anyways. Well, what, what, it's like you buy something old, new and stuff. They don't work that good like they used to. The, they don't build like they used to, because it's all from China. Yeah, and clean it up and stuff anyways, is yeah, I put all this away. Turn this straight, I put it back in, to show it in the toolbox, but this one's a little rusty. Anyways, I'm gonna show uh, I have to put all this away anyways. Um, all the tools I have, the, for the motorcycles probably. This is one, I don't know, this is a, this one, presser, 
I used to have a piston ring compressor, one of those uh, hot compressors or something else for the to operate the take the piston rings off. They got one of those. And this is for a um, spark plug, not a spark plug, but a door. Tools for the um, for gas making tools I have because sometimes old motor bolts they have to make the gaskets use you punching out and usually you have to use a razor blade to do it. usually I have some air tools and stuff I use like I'll have the air tools in here not very many but I'll get get a kit and cool get one of the air tools in here here they use that once a while well, this one's not use this one right here usually for blades but I need to tighten up this is how this where is that that's heavy <laughs> and then there oh, that's going to not wait in there oh it's a little toilet right there three tomorrow a little bit on this video anyways I got part two working on it still but I'm gonna watch another video today on the lawn boy this is a sand disc for Stanley see it's Stanley Let's see if I can see it. yeah it's Stanley what's that part number it's the part number right there what's the number Stanley that was my dad's those things they get, they get loose sometime on the drill. <laughs> it's a lot of those things. Air compressor, but fill up your tires anyways. We got some tools. We got tomorrow probably this video. It's too hot today. I might go in and take a shower. This is a low hammer, hammer right here. It's brand new. This is brand new right here. This is kind of old right here. That was my dad. So my dad died a couple weeks ago and uh, so, uh August 18th, so fans run, I have to turn it off. So this is some of the tools right here. And all the day ago, I think it was yesterday, I fixed this compression tester. I put in the vise and I take it off and I lubricate inside and it, it did work after. This is some of the other tools, but the Sears tools are down in that toolbox over there and some of the tools, but I'm just seeing what I have. I got a new compression tester, it's right in there. Yeah, all, so all the tools I have. This is a good compression tester. It works right now. I'm glad it works. I like to get a thousand pound compression tester for diesels. This is some of the tools I have in here. Anyway, I showed it a couple of weeks ago, probably, but some of the stuff still works. It still works. <laughs> this is all the stuff my dad had. It's getting stuck in there. Oh. What's going on? I gotta see what's going on. It's weird. Let's see, wait a minute. Sako's doing it. Something like a soccer one, anyways. And that works. 